M, like in Mike, 500. This is the latest and greatest from Piper, and uh, this is the new avionics panel. You see the uh, autopilot panel has been moved to the top, and uh, there's some new features here. The landing gear lights are here, and the pressurization system is now completely digital. No more controller. Aspen has contributed a, a backup instrument over there, for, uh, which is completely separate from the two Adahars that drive the PFDs. It's the same smooth running uh, PT-6-42A. Uh, There's just nothing to not like about this new panel. It's, it's uh, an upgrade of, of the highest order. This has got the new level technology, which we're going to talk about a little later, and uh, some other fine autopilot features. This is the new MFD today. As usual, we've got uh, fuel and flaps in here, but now we have the landing gear lights, which are no longer uh, analog nice. lights. And uh, let's see, we have pressure differential in there. This is a, a digital pressurization system. So I noticed when you uh, you brought uh, ECS, I think you brought ECS to normal, yeah. there was a little, a very mild yeah. pop a poof, sound, yeah. a little poof sound. And that was the cabin. Yeah. Uh, and your, all you do really is just put the destination elevation in there. And that's, that is on the timer reference soft key. Got it. And down at the bottom, you just scroll down to the to that and put whatever your destination field elevation is. Here we're at 26 feet, so it's yep. 30 feet. And that's it. And then that will be repeated there, and that is the sum total of your management of the uh, pressurization system. Well, it's certainly a lot simpler and, um, and therefore, I believe, safer. Brand new, enhanced Good. stability protection. So with Bart's permission, I'm going to kick oh, sure. off the autopilot and demonstrate this. We have these double bars at the 45. So if I clear right, clear to the right, and make a gentle bank to the right, it's just like the old Meridian, or the prior, the former version. But if I continue on to 45, we get a, I can feel like a little bit of a pushback. It's, it's so of course 30 degrees is typically uh, the medium bank turned, and anything beyond 30 would ordinarily be um, uh, an overbank autopilot. Uh, condition. So now I've let it of its own resources, and the autopilot engages and goes level, just like that. So if um, someone were to have a medical emergency, this would complete the recovery, no problem. It's it's really a, a very nicely refined uh, addition to an already the great is aircraft. On in the heading mode, and uh, we're in flight level change, so it's trying to hold. A, a particular airspeed, in this case 145 knots. And if we overpower the autopilot without disengaging it, we get the divergent uh, delta and D bars. And if we go beyond the 60, I believe if you hold it, it should, it should, I think it'll let you, it'll let, let go. There, there it is. Goes, right yeah. So it, it cuts it's, off if you go beyond 70 degrees. And, and there's the recovery bars. Yeah, so Engaging autopilot. So if you lose the autopilot, um, it will re-engage and go to level uh, yeah, yeah. level pitch it'll and come attitude. Back It'll come back and, on. And so now w this this button here will accomplish that as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So autopilot is it off. Is, is off. And you simply press the level button. You get a level mode enunciation, and it gives you a level wings level attitude with a zero vertical acceleration. Yeah. Now this is this is really um, this is this is going to make this airplane safer to fly. Um, I, I really um, understand now how this works, and I'm very impressed. Uh, what what I'm finding in the fleet is most accidents are upsets of some sort, a loss of control, and uh, assuming the pilot is conscious, this is now completely avoidable with this this setting yeah we'll put a 12.5 here and we'll do the, we'll show you the underspeed protection oh, yeah, right. too. Right. yes okay heading and altitude right so it's going to attempt to hold an altitude so i'm just going to power back and we're going to let the speed just start coming back okay underspeed protection is still active so what will happen is you'll get a couple of warnings one it'll tell you airspeed airspeed and it just says that twice airspeed airspeed um but then you'll get when the stall warning comes on, it'll pitch the airplane down. 
and it'll stop trying to hold altitude at that point. It's just trying to keep the airplane flying, and you'll right. get a, a message here, and a cast message, which will say USP active, under speed protection active. Good. Okay. Should be interesting. <clears throat> so, again, um, the the objective here is to, to scenario-wise why a pilot might need a, a system like this, and one of the major causes of... Uh, uh, Air serious speed. accidents. Air speed. In this airplane okay. is uh, a I loss of control. Stall. I got mid speed. Stall. 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 Speed. Stall. USB goes USB active. active. Stall. Pitch is down. Now if I power up. Stall. 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 To recover. Stall. 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 It goes Stall. back to the altitude. It'll go back to the altitude that you had in there previously. Got it. Very All right. Nice. So we're going to see under speed protection with the autopilot. And Check gauged. gear. Check but the gear. altitude, the altitude mode, is off. mode off. Yeah. So now it's not looking for stall warning to pitch down. It's looking no. for a minimum speed that it says, all right, you're getting too close. And it just pitches you down before the stall warning. But it's not uh, attempting to hold an altitude now. Right, I, because just, you didn't ask it to. Right. Right. So it's just going to bleed down a little bit. But it'll still protect you. You still have under speed protection. We see a decay in airspeed, and we see a loss in altitude. We've not air asked. Airspeed. Airspeed. And for an altitude hold, so we get airspeed, airspeed, we get min speed. USB right. goes active and it pitches you down. Stall, so stall, right. stall, it used to be stall. that weather would uh, radar would only appear on the radar yeah. page, and back. then you would have to go back and forth to that page. But now, but now we can turn that on. We can turn it on, and it's right there. Yeah, and I can go ahead and tilt it down. You can see more ground clutter. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then we could also toggle between here, next rad, yes. and radar. Uh, correction, next rad, yep. and radar yep. there yep. and that then would be able to show us the real-time benefit very nice very here, nice this features. is your intercom and also your music and that kind of thing right so these functions here these are intercom stuff so if the co-pilot and passengers are on but if I turn pilot right no I can't no same thing you can turn yourself right Okay, passengers as as well, and all of these have independent volume controls. Right. You can control that way. Um, if you want music, you'd go to the blue mode, which is you push this. Push the stalk and this the turns blue. Uh huh. All right, we'll go to music one. We should all be on there. That should work. And then we'll have we'll still have to go to the music page. Right to X. The aux pages to actually enable that. Yeah. Uh, let's go down. I don't know. Here, here we go. Okay. Now, you just go on and off with it. Oh, get out of blue mode. Hey there. Yeah. Now, if I key the mic, will that mute? Yes, yes. it will. Okay. So, and it's a soft mute. Okay. You can go on and off with it, too, that way. And yeah. everybody can get it individually or whatever. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice feature. So much for Super Tramp. That's right. Everything in here is backlit now. It's a whole lot easier to read at night. Good. That's that's yeah. Whole lot quite better, helpful. Whole lot better night airplane than it used to be. Well, it was quite good before. I, I'm yeah, also very pleased it's about now. the black, the flat yeah. black panel. Yeah. I think that it's that's uh, it's a measure of better now than it, than it was before. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something I've noticed about the airplane. It just keeps getting better. Um, I'm just very excited about this. This is a wonderful upgrade. Can't wait to see it in full production. So when we touch the toga button. Yep. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll push it. It'll go, 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 go around. around. Autopilot will stay engaged. I'll power up. Autopilot's engaged. You see the bars are solid magenta and the AP light is right. lit. The green light. We'll get light. a positive, positive rate. Positive rate at 1,250 pounds of torque. Bring up the gear. And then flaps. Bring up the flaps. And now, if we wanted to fly the published miss, we just switch back to nav. We'll push nav. Yeah. And it will go out here, go to engine, enter holding pattern. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm.